The Final Four is the first big game after city leaders passed an ordinance that requires short-term rental owners to have a permit before they rent out their home. And city leaders want people to know there could be hefty fines if they don't follow the rules. It's a full house this weekend. Peter South is renting out more than a dozen properties this week as Final Four fans flock to the valley. It's a big boost in business with tourists shelling out money to stay here for all the action. An event like uh, Super Bowl or Final Four, that can increase your nightly rates by like 20 to 40 percent. As the excitement ramps up, the city of Phoenix has a warning for people renting out their homes. You make sure you understand the rules that the city of Phoenix has. Spencer Self is the director of Neighborhood Services. The city of Phoenix passed an ordinance back in November requiring short-term rental owners to get a permit and meet specific requirements before they rent out their property. Arizona's family has reported on short-term rentals turned party houses, causing issues in neighborhoods. Self says this permit process helps the city crack down on unruly guests. It gives the city of Phoenix the ability to reach out to the owners or the responsible party when there are issues that may be happening at that short-term rental, both for police or code enforcement. If you rent out your home without a permit, it could come with a citation. The first violation has a minimum fine of $500, and that could increase up to $3,500 for multiple violations. Since the new ordinance passed, we've become more proactive. So we have some new tools that we're using to identify where short-term rentals may be operating without a permit. For people like South, who make a living off of thriving industry. He wants people to follow the rules. Last year alone, Airbnb says it helped generate $3 billion for Arizona's economy. We are 100% advocating for people to register your properties with all the cities. It's really not that complicated. Now, city officials say it's likely too late to register your home before this weekend. But for more information on the permit process and what is required, head to our website, azfamily.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family.